What is going on guys? Today we are back and today we are going over everything I've done to my 1989 Toyota pickup. Now this Toyota pickup has been around since the very beginning of Dirt Garage and it's been in almost every single video. And over the years I have done a lot to it. As you can tell, it is far from stock. So let's go check it out. One of the most major modifications I have done to this Toyota pickup is the solid axle swap. But the solid axle swap is not done quite like the kit instructions tell you to do it. I've actually notched the front of the frame and put the spring hanger up high. As you can see, it's right underneath these body mounts. Also, at the other end of the leaf spring, I've actually chopped the trail gear shackle to be four inches instead of six inches. All of this was done just to keep the truck a little bit lower. The front axle is from a 1982 Toyota pickup. It's been modified with IFS hubs, making the front axle just as wide as the rear. And for steering, I am running the trail gear high steer kit. My steering box has also been tilted and moved forward slightly to run a flat pitman arm and to stop my steering from binding under flex. Inside the front axle you'll find 456 gears and you'll also see that I retrofitted a Toyota e-locker. This front bumper is a weld it yourself kit from Fractal Fabs and inside the bumper you'll find a smithy built 9500 pound winch. My front fenders are from toyotafiberglass.com. They are the high clearance fiberglass fenders giving me all sorts of tire clearance. Now let's check out under the hood. Now recently when I show under my hood, I get a lot of comments about how filthy and dirty it is. You guys need to realize this is a wheeler and keeping this clean is like at the bottom of my priority list. But besides that, this motor is a 3.4 from a 2000 4Runner and on top of that is a first generation Toyota supercharger. New this year are these rock sliders. These are actually custom made by my friend Mike at POS Taco on Instagram. They're square tube, they're awesome. I haven't really had a chance to use them yet. For the rear suspension, I'm running two inch lift springs from Old Man Emu. And for shackles, those are actually stock shackles from a 2018 Tundra. Moving down from that, the rear axle is pretty much stock. Running 456 gears, and I did put a lock right locker in there. And for shocks, I'm running Bilstein 5100s in every corner. Something else new to the truck this year is the dual transfer cases. Now both the front and rear transfer cases, I'm running the factory 2.28 gears and they are mated together with the Marlin Crawler MC07 crawl box. And sending power from the transfer cases to the drive lines is a square tube drive shaft up front and a custom one piece in the rear. Hey guys, just interrupting the video real quick to let you know that there's videos for a significant portion of the mods down to this truck. If you see a little thumbnail pop on the screen, that means that there's a video available and the link is in the description below. Anyways, uh, let's get back to this walk around. And speaking of dual transfer cases, uh, if you look inside my truck, you'll see triple sticks. This is a custom made triple sticks kit made out of the trail gear twin sticks. Now this truck itself isn't actually an SR5, but with all the parts trucks we've been through, I've been slowly converting it piece by piece. SR5 bucket seats, SR5 center console, SR5 steering wheel, SR5 gauge cluster, also map lights. These are an SR5 feature and uh, these cloth door panels with the cubby down here. I didn't even know these existed until the last parts truck we got, but these are so much better than the vinyl panels that were there in the past. To avoid cutting a massive hole in my hood to clear the 3-4 and the supercharger, I'm actually running a two inch body lift. For tires, I'm still running the 37 by 12.5 R17 Toyo MTs. Different this year, it's these black D-window steely rims. I'm not actually too sure what the brand is, but they're cheap and uh, I think they go with the look of this truck a heck of a lot more than those old alloys. Something I forgot to mention on this walk around is the paint color. I painted this truck 185 cement gray, the exact same paint code you see on the newer Toyota trucks. If you want to check out last year's walk around video, I'll link it in the description below. The truck has definitely changed a little bit since then. Anyways guys, if you like this stuff, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I upload weekly Toyota wheeling, building, off-roading content and uh, yeah. We'll see you next week. Peace. Yeah, we about to lift off. Hey, been here too long. Y'all better wake up. Uh, time for a new song. We going up and away. Up, up and away. Yeah. Hey, you better hold tight and you better embrace.
turbulence, turbulence.